So uh, this is a video for GTA car kits on uh, installing a GTA car kit into a uh, 99 5 series and they are the same from 98 to 2003 but uh, this particular model just uh, if you look at this uh, right corner it just says audio and uh, this car doesn't have DSP Make sure your car doesn't have DSP or this kit will not work on your car. You have to, when uh, choosing a kit, you have to take out the radio and uh, look in the back and see what type of connection you have. Uh, because there's two types. For example, this car is using the Type 1 uh, uh, kit that we provide. And uh, newer models use uh, this type of uh, connection. So the, the difference is... Uh, one uses uh, round uh, uh, round connections in the back and the other one uses uh, like uh, slotted slotted connections so you have to see which what which kind your car is using and uh, you have to make sure that you don't have DSP uh, as an option in your car stereo because this kit will not work if you have DSP so we'll uh, put that first to the side and uh, We'll go over what what tools you need, and uh, you'll need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a two millimeter Allen key, and a two and a half millimeter Allen key. And uh, also, I'd suggest uh, using a magnet because uh, the bolts like like to fall down, and it's really good to have it handy. So we'll start off first step to removing the radio is uh, to remove the knob and this one already I forgot to tighten it but when you remove the knob you have you have to take your two and a half millimeter actually two millimeter uh, allen key put it inside the the hole there you'll see the place where it goes and just turn it to the left and kind of pull it out and uh, this part of the radio will come out and so for now we'll, uh, we'll disconnect it and to do that you press on this clip and undo the connection next step is to take your two and a half so you're using two millimeter at the knob and now we're going to be using two and a half millimeter allen key and uh, we'll put it in here there's a hole, one hole here and uh, one small hole there and so you just take your allen key and uh, unscrew these two bolts those these two bolts hold this uh, top portion of the radio and that's where the GTA car kit plugs in so once you undo these bolts uh, you can just grab the radio and uh, slide it out and uh, comes out this way so when, when you have this your radio in this position you have to disconnect this uh, plug in the back and to do that you have to take your flathead screwdriver put it in into the slot and slide it upwards you just have to do it a little bit and then you can use your hands and it just comes out and uh, for the next step you have to take your uh, GTA car kit and uh, <clears throat> your GTA car kit looks like this. So as I said, uh, this car uses uh, these round uh, uh, connections in the back. Uh, the, the newer models use a uh, slotted uh, connection. So uh, we're going to be taking the GTA car kit. Uh, it's assembled already. So you have uh, you have um, one part that goes to the to the back of your radio and you have your middle box and you have your uh, connection that goes to the iPod so for now we're not going to connect it we're just going to connect the, the back of the radio if you have a CD changer in the back this uh, option uh, uh, remove uh, you, you lose a CD changer I see here that this car has it it's right here in the back um, and we, because for this, for 
our kit we're going to be using the same we're going to be using this uh, connection in the back of the radio so uh, what you'll do is you'll take your GTA car kit uh, you take this this side that looks just like a square and you plug it in into your stock harness and just lock it in place next step is to is to say take uh, the other end of the GTA car kit and to plug it in back on the on your uh, stock radio just like that clicks in then you also have this uh, the same port that use this car uses for CD changer uh, you have to plug in this uh, connection and uh, when you see the arrow it has the arrow has to sit face upwards of the radio and you just plug it in here just like that and at this point the GTA car kit is pretty much connected so when you have once you have your GTA car kit connected uh, when you press your uh, CD button uh, let's say you're in FM you press your CD button you'll get to this uh, menu but on this car it's really hard to see because the pixels are dead but uh, you'll be in uh, CD2 or you can be in uh, CD1 so in CD1 it's a hybrid mode in this mode you can uh, use your uh, uh, iPhone like just switching the songs and choosing yourself but if you go to CD2 then your uh, it's gonna be your first playlist and in this mode you can't uh, control the iPod you can still use the iPhone but you can't control the iPod with yourself you just can, you can uh, scroll through the songs yourself uh, the third disc is gonna be your second playlist fourth is third and so on and uh, if just turn off the radio a couple of times and uh, make sure it works every time uh, before putting everything back and uh, so now we'll, we're gonna show you how to uh, run this uh, wire uh, the the wire that connects to the iPhone through this uh, middle pocket and uh, to do that the first step we're gonna disconnect our uh, iPhone uh, we're gonna remove the uh, we're gonna remove this uh, the radio again by pressing this pin and just taking it out we're also gonna disconnect the kit because we're just gonna show you how to take everything apart to get to this pocket so you can maybe drill a hole um, and and feed the wire through there so one, once you're at once you're at this point with your radio removed uh, half of the kit is connected to the top uh, part of the stereo what you'll do is uh, put your hand behind here and uh, kind of just uh, push out your uh, climate control and uh, just take it out and uh, disconnect the connections in the back now you have your uh, climate control disconnected uh, we'll put this to the side the next step is to remove the cup holders and uh, to do that you'll need your uh, Phillips screwdriver and uh, there's one screw here and the other one is there so once you have once you have your two screws removed uh, you can uh, also put the hand behind the cup holders and uh, just push them out and the cup holders come out uh, next step is to remove these four screws there's uh, one here on the side second one on the bottom uh, same here there's one in the bottom and one on top so we're gonna go ahead and remove these four screws so once you remove these four screws um, next step is to uh, lift up this uh, take out this panel in the middle where you select the gear knob selector and uh, we'll first pull out the leather and we'll pull out this uh, plastic surround 
and it just kind of lifted on top and here at this point you have uh, two screws here and uh, also there's one screw underneath uh, this hazard light button and uh, to remove the button you just uh, push it from the bottom like that it will come out you have to disconnect this uh, button and to, to do that you just pull on it and it comes out and you and there's also then there's uh, you'll see a screw down there so we'll now we'll go ahead and remove these three screws mm -hmm. so the next step you're gonna go to the from the back uh, you're gonna go ahead and remove these cup holders in the bottom on this car on this car uh, the cup holders already broken so just on this one it falls out it doesn't come out uh, but uh, what you do is you usually just uh, undo the open the cup holders and pull on it and it will come out and and it will cause this to fall down and that's what you're looking for for this uh, vents to come down and they'll, you'll see the two screws here and so we'll go ahead and remove these two screws once you have the two screws removed uh, next step is just to lift up this uh, armrest and take it out and we'll uh, expose another two screws the two last screws uh, in order to remove this middle console so now once you have all the screws removed uh, you will go ahead and take out this uh, middle uh, panel and we'll start at the closer to the front and we'll just uh, pop it up and uh, feed this uh, the select knob to the middle and just like that over top of it and uh, it comes out and so uh, now at this point uh, we're gonna show you how to run the wire from the back but uh, uh, you can drill this you can take out this uh, cup holder it just uh, comes out just to push it from the back and uh, you can go ahead and drill the hole it would be the best to drill the hole uh, somewhere here like uh, closer to the top so so it won't be seen and you can run the wire through the through the middle so, but we'll put that to a side for now well, so is this middle console to show you how to run the wire so you have everything removed the, the box you can there's a lot of space you can just zip tie it somewhere um, to the back uh, but uh, once you have everything removed you can uh, all the screws you can also lift up this this part will come out and uh, this uh, middle pocket uh, part the last two there's also last two screws holding it down there there's one here and one there and uh, once you remove them this middle part will come out like a pocket and you'll be able to run the wire all the way from the car stereo all the way to this uh, middle middle pocket and uh, and this was a video for GTA car kits and now we're gonna be putting everything back make sure you don't lose any screws and uh, good luck check out our website gtacarkits.com